Hey there! This puzzle is called Sternary Box and it was designed by Jean-Claude Constantin. I got this puzzle from Jules Constantin, a son of Jean-Claude Constantin, when he was in Prague about a month ago. The goal of the puzzle is to open the box. If you take a closer look at the box, you will find that it has exactly the same design from each side and it looks like there are some kind of a sliding pa panels inside. Let's take a closer look. There are there are six of them here. Two on this side, two on this side, and two on this side. And they go from one side of the box to another. They have cutouts inside, and I guess it is some kind of a maze. Or maybe it will be a Nari puzzle where you have to do the same moves again and again in order to solve the puzzle. If you like how this ordinary box looks and you want to buy it, link will be in the video description as always. And if you want to see my attempt to solve this beautiful puzzle, keep watching the video. But before I will show you my attempt to solve the puzzle, I want to announce a giveaway. It will be held by my friends from Escape Well. They made a special copy of the Orbital Box puzzle with my logo on it. And if you want to have a chance to win this puzzle, click right here, watch the video, follow the instructions, and you will have a chance to win this puzzle. So let's see what I can do. I have to find probably one of the panels that I can slide. And it looks like well, this one is moving a little. Oh, I can I can push out this one a little bit. Yeah, I, oh, I can even remove it. Okay, but what's next? I guess I can move, oh, I can move another one. Maybe I can move the next one. No? Okay, looks like the other ones are locked. I think it's better to change the camera angle so that you can see better what is happening right here. I see there are metal pins. They are attached to these panels. And as you can see, when I move this one, there is a metal pin that moves. And in order to move this part, I guess I have to move this pin in such a way that it will be in one of the cutouts of this one. I don't. Like, if I put it here, there is a cutout in this panel. But still, I can't move it. Why? Ah, because of this one. Okay, maybe I have to move everything back and start with another one. No, it doesn't seem so. I can't move this one. Okay, let's try again. I'll push this one out. The next one goes this one. And still, I can't move this panel. Okay, but maybe I can move others. Oh, I can move the first one back. And now I can move the third one. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see, maybe I have to remove the first one again. So I have three. Which one will be next? Let's see. I can't move this one for some reason. Oh, but I can put this one back. Oh, that's interesting. And now I can move this one. Huh, okay, so in order to move this one, I had to close the first one. But then in order to move this one, I had to close this one back. So I have one, two, three, four. There is one more here and one more here. If I try to move this one, I can't move it down because of the metal pin that is right here. Oh, it is a metal pin of this piece. So if I move it inside, no, I still can't move this part. Why? Maybe there are some other metal pins. That, oh, so I had to move two. This one and the first one. So now I have five. Okay. Have one more. One more is locked. There is a metal pin here. And it is from this one. Okay, if I lock it. But still I can't move it. Why? Because there is another metal pin from this part. And it seems like I can move it, but what's wrong? There is probably another metal pin that I don't see. There, there is a pin here, but it looks like it goes inside. And maybe it was, no. 
I don't actually know what to do next. There is a metal pin down there. Oh, maybe I have to close this part. And I already forgot which one was the first one, which one was where. I had to stop rotating the puzzle. It actually makes it difficult to understand what I have to do next. Oh, this was the last one. At least I hope so. Okay, let's try. This goes out, this goes out, and then... Uh, there is an issue with this one. Probably I had to move this one first, and then this one, and... Ta-da! Oh, done! The puzzle is solved. Okay. Let's try to understand how it works. There are these parts on the sides. They are just for decoration. There is a huge bolt here. And all the panels inside, when you close them, they close around the bolt. Ah, so I had just to move them in such a way that I will be able to free the bolt. Okay, now I have to close it back. I don't really remember how to do that. But I remember that some of these parts have to go in. This one's supposed to be in. Yeah, this goes here. So now if I remove everything, what's next? I have to push this one in. Yep, it is closing easily. This goes here. Then, oh, that's too many moves. And I again forgot where is the first one that I moved. Where is the second one? So let's try again. If I can remove some of these, I can remove four. And the fifth is locked from this position. This is the first one. This was the third one. I guess some of the parts. Oh, this one was on the way. Yep. Now I can remove it. Now I have to push these two inside. Remove this one. Done! And the puzzle is solved. That's actually an amazing puzzle. Since it's not too difficult, it is not too easy. Something in between, something that you can really enjoy. It took me about 15 minutes to solve the puzzle. And it is not just a puzzle. It's also a very beautiful box that you can put on a shelf or just in your living room and it will look just nice. If you like this ternary box puzzle and you want to buy it, link in the video description. And if you want to have a chance to win the orbital puzzle box with my logo in it, subscribe to Escape World YouTube page, watch the video and follow the instructions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.